Hello, hello. Take a look at this beautiful hedge here. This is your creeping salt bush and it can grow up into quite a tall hedge and have a look at the shape and the curve and have it, just have a look how that's been beautifully shaped. Now what's interesting about this is we're on the side of the road in Craigieburn. The rainfall here is between 15 and 18 inches a year. We've got other trees growing all around and so we've got competition from other trees. This is very, very dry country. There's no irrigation here and this hedge is absolutely flourishing and thriving. If you were to plant English box here, it'd probably shrivel up and die. But this is flourishing. And just a little side thing, not many people realize, but you can actually eat. It's a, it's a, it has a lovely salty taste. Chefs use this for garnishing steaks and things. Looking at this, in the most difficult and dry situations, you can make beautiful lush hedges, topiary, and sculptures out of the creeping salt bush. And it has a lovely fine dense finish and it's as tough as anything. And have a look around here under this tree. Now the Achilles heel of most hedges is when you go under a tree, you'll find that they fail. There'll be a big holes in the hedge or a section missing in the hedge. Right here, we've got the gum tree roots going underneath. We've got the gum tree coming over and shading it, but the hedge is beautiful and lush and thick and bushy. It's perfect. Maybe you want to grow nice round balls in the garden. Maybe you want a little winding hedge. Maybe you want a really interestingly shaped sculpture. The creeping salt bush or Rigodia is the one to look at. The creeping salt bush is a very, very versatile plant. You could use it as a ground cover, use it as a hedge, use it as a topiary or a sculpture, or you can plant it on an embankment or a wall and have it cascade over the side and cover up the, the wall or the embankment. Check out this amazing footage of Rigodia or creeping salt bush just cascading over this large rock wall in very harsh conditions. No irrigation, no good soil, just awful clay at a dry wall in a dry area and it's cascading and looking lush and beautiful.